You know when there's breaking news and you look at the headline and you try to make sense of what's happening, you understand the words that are there but it's kind of hard to grasp exactly what's happening? Well that's how I felt when this all happened. So last night some news broke about uh, 20th Century Fox. They had scheduled an untitled Deadpool movie for wide release on December 21st this year. So at first I thought, is it a, an animated movie that they've been kind of working on? And then also, they explained that Alita Battle Angel, which was supposed to come out later this year, that's been moved to Valentine's Day next year. And Dark Phoenix has been delayed again, this time to June 7th, 2019. And Gambit, they've given a new release date of March 13th, 2020. But no one cares about that one. Here's the thing though, uh, this Deadpool movie, it turns out it's a PG-13 cut of Deadpool 2. So it's not a new film, it's not a new Deadpool film, it's not an animated film, it's not a, a, a film that maybe Ryan Reynolds was working on and they were going to release it, uh, surprise everyone, no. It's a, a PG-13 cut. I can understand Alita Battle Angel, you know, Fox, they want this to be a, a, a big movie, James Cameron is involved, uh, Robert Rodriguez is directing, um, it's going to be a big movie. They want to give it, uh, you know, its, its own space because what's coming out in December? We've got Mortal Engines, uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, of course Aquaman, Bumblebee, and for those who are into crap films, you've got Mary Poppins. So I can understand if 20th Century Fox, they want to move Alita, Battle Angel, a little bit further but then that means they need to move away one of their other movies, Dark Phoenix. Do they need more work? I guess they would, with all the reshoots, maybe they need more work on this film. So what now for New Mutants? I cannot imagine Fox releasing two X-Men related films uh, within the space of a few months, because I think uh, New Mutants was supposed to come out in August. I think that'll be getting delayed as well, maybe further into 2019, uh, quarter four. Now I'd like to know what came first, was it the idea of moving Alita Battle Angel to give it, you know, its own space, make money, as much money as it can in February? And then they started thinking, what do we put out in December for all the family-friendly cash that we're going to miss out? Oh, let's put out Deadpool 2 PG. I wouldn't have a problem with them thinking like that. Or was it the idea that, hey, let's put out a PG-13 Deadpool in December and then go, yeah, screw everything else, let's just move it to 2019. That's that's going to annoy a lot of people and it's just going to reinforce this idea that Disney is already interfering with 20th Century Fox movies. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this 20th Century Fox merry-go-around of release dates. I'm Shekhar and I'll catch you next time. So my friends, if you enjoyed this content, why not click that like button, leave a comment, Share with your friends and family, and if you have real courage, I suggest you smash that godforsaken subscribe button. <gasps>